So we're going to look at now strings are immutable, which means unchangeable. Now, you can set a string equal to a different string value, but you cannot actually change a string itself. And let's go ahead and copy this code right here in the middle. And I think we're done messing around with nulls, at least for a while. And we're going to create a string. And then we're going to call the to uppercase. And then we're going to print it. And we'll go ahead and run this. And in the print uh, statement, we got the capital A, capital T, but didn't capitalize anything else. Uh, so what's going on here is the string. This returns a new string, which will be this capitalized. But if you want to actually change the one, what name is, you have to do name equals name dot to uppercase. So this will generate a brand new string, which will be what you think, which is all capital Alan Turing. And then that capitalized string gets set to the name variable. So now name's going to point to that new string in memory. And there we go. So that'll capitalize it. So you're going to have to uh, set your string equal to and you can, of course, you know, whatever lowercase, uh, you wanted a substring, you know, whatever happens to be. Sub, come on. Substring to, there you go. Uh, so without this name equals, you're not going to actually change a uh, name. Uh, that's going to be for, for, every single uh, string method, you're going to have to do this pattern where if you want to actually change text here, you can call any method you want, but you're going to have to do text equals text dot your method if you want to actually change it.